and I had used Blackboard and, and primarily the way that I used that was just to make sure that I was updating things providing them with the syllabus, providing them with PowerPoints, and, and just primarily used it that way. I switched over about a year ago, and uh, you know, it, was, it wasn't extremely challenging for me. It was just going in and just kind of navigating and moving around and trying to figure things out. I mean, I, I thought it was fairly intuitive. And, but one of the cool things that I liked about it, well, two things. Number one is that it, it makes it a lot easier to upload things. So at the beginning of the year when I was putting together my course, I could pretty much do 10 PowerPoints at once versus where I would have to do it one at a time, and I really liked that at first. And then the second thing, which I thought was a neat feature, was the ability to feature websites on the homepage. And so in our class, what we were able to do was I can feature you know, popular blogs, you know, when my sport econ finance class where students can know of certain resources. Also in the fall, I put up an economic impact study from the University of Washington that students were able to do. And then this semester in my marketing class, you know, trying to get them to understand blogs more, use blogs more, knowing that they're going to read them a little bit more when they're interactive, uh, I've put up uh, the, my elite level sport marketing blog and posted uh, things related to sport marketing for them. So that was another thing that I really liked and, and it was a nice way to uh, just kind of communicate with them on the level that I wanted to.